Hi guys! I see we have some early birds today. Who do we have here already? Hi Mark, hi Amy, hi Melissa, Robin, Bits! Um, do, 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 do. You eating, are you eating soups? Oh, turn that off. <laughs> eating soup, okay, with some crusty bread. Um, yes, that, I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> What's going on? Nice discussion about soup pre-drawing. Hi Chris! Hi Claudia! You often have your soup in a cup. Yeah, you felt fancy and had it in a bowl. <laughs> nice. Nice. Hi! Oh, that went up really quickly. Okay, so guys. How are we all? Are you all good? Have you had a good week? It's been like two weeks since we live streamed on YouTube and it's felt like forever but gone so quickly at the same time. Um, you're still trying to get your son in bed? Oh, that's always a difficult task. And hi Emma, <laughs> you have no sound. I presume everybody else can hear me okay and then it's not my end. It would be like a sod's law if it was my end. Let me actually just move this microphone a bit closer as well. There we go. It's going good. It's going really good, thank you. Hello from Russia. Well, hello. Good evening. Or morning. Was it evening where you were? I don't know. I don't know time zones. Yeah, she strikes. She strikes again. She lives within us all. I found out you're having an interview for a place called Kirkland's. Oh, well that's good. I hope you have um, have luck with that interview. You can hear me, that's good. Then that's good. Okay, so today we're working on bee eaters. Um, not sure how much we're gonna get done. Your head for <laughs> Sound is good, okay. Good. Let me just move my, my taskbar has moved over to the other screen again for some reason rather than this one. It's on this one, not this one. Um, <laughs> in your ears. <laughs> James, is, is your son called James as well? My son is called James. Go to bed. Go to bed, James. <laughs> Hi, Anita. It's 10.35. Oh, so you're like two hours ahead of us. Or me. Whoever's in the UK here. Right. Um, I know a few of you joined the Twitch live stream on Wednesday. But yeah, it's been like two weeks since we have live streamed on YouTube. So, how have you been? Have you missed the usual art? I don't have um, cider today. I have gin again. It's getting to that kind of year now where it's getting a little bit cooler, so you know I don't feel like cider. I'm hanging behind your iPad. Silly sausage. Silly, silly sausage. Thea, hi. Thank you very much and welcome. Right. I'm going to. Hi Snow Wolfie, how are you? He's, he's six, okay. Yeah, well, it's definitely bedtime. My James went at eight and he is uh, one and a bit. <laughs> right, I'm gonna switch to the second view so you don't have to put up with my full face. And then you can see that I have done, it made no, absolutely no progress with the bee eater at all. <laughs> How was the horse show? Yay or nay? It was a yay! I actually enjoyed it, like, it was fun! I didn't get to see any horses close up, which was good, but yeah, watched a bit of um, jumping, met bits, it's all good, it was a fun day. Apart from like, all the walking. But yeah, it was, it was good. 
It's 9.37 in Holland. So yeah, you're like an hour ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Last Sunday was boiling. <sighs> I've got a jumper today. How does I feel after the ginger and twitch? Well, I thought I was fine. But I got up and I went downstairs and apparently I was uh, a little bit worse for wear. <laughs> so yeah. I was, um, uh, uh, okay. Oh, I don't want to zoom in that much. Right, let's go for 75. That's perfect. Right, I don't know what colours I was using and I don't know which area to do and I have no idea what the hell I was doing with this piece. <laughs> Aw. Well, that's good. I'm pleased. Um... Yeah, there's not much to be scared of with horses. <gasps> Hi Caro, how are you? In your jammies, dressing gown and duvet. Ooh, that sounds extra chilly, like real cosy. <laughs> Bye. My time is 8.39. That's my time. Right, should we get drawing some of these? What bit should I do? Like, should I carry on with the bird? I think it, I was doing all the yellow bits. Should I do the bird and the wing? Like the, the breast and the wing? Or should I do some branch and the, and the little bee thing? What do you reckon? Is the bird out of focus? Possibly, let me see if I can just change it. Right, now he's really out of focus. Is that any better? I hate that. Let me get the aura focus. Auto, is that going to be better? Is that better? It still looks blurry to me. Oh, this is like a fine art. Is that better? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, there's fireworks outside. Seriously? Fireworks. The bird. Okay, right. So we need some yellows. Yes, that's exactly right. Slide one. Uh, they always say A or B. <laughs> this one or this one. Looks even more fuzzy. Really? Right. The camera really struggles to autofocus. <laughs> you love when you say reckon instead of think. <laughs> Okay, I've never, never, never been told that before. Maybe it is your connection. You're not connected with the group bits. Right, bird. Let's choose some yellow pencils. There's also a shadow of the microphone present. Well, you know what? This camera seems to have moved. I zoom in a bit more. Oh, I lost my mouse. There you go. Do I have any kids? I have one. Yes, James. He is one and two months. He's a very good boy. He's got um, molars coming through at the moment, so he's been very grouchy. Like, he's got all of the front and bottom four teeth and I read that you're supposed to get the canines next but he's gone for the back molars all four of them as well one on each side this is as far as I can zoom in I did do it another two notches but it's quite a small piece I mean I could lower the camera but then it it's in the way this is as far as I can zoom in for now 
I'm gonna get another um, arm for the camera. One that is a bit more smooth and a bit more like of an easier like positioning thing. But I looked online and I'm sure that my microphone boom arm thing cost me like 60 pound. And I looked for the same one on Amazon and it said it was 85. So I was like, oh, I don't really wanna spend that much. So I'm gonna wait for um, for it to come down in price a little bit, I think, before I buy one. Because I've got one of the cheap ones and it's not good. Like, I don't wanna go for a cheap one again. <laughs> not connected in your head. Didn't think so, didn't think so. Bit of a, a loose connection there, bit of a rattle. Yes, <laughs> fragranced in what it's. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what camera have I got? The one that I'm using for the top down streaming is a Logitech C. Oh, it says there. Does it? Oh yeah, a Logitech C930E and I think the face cam one is the Logitech C920 I want to say. I don't know what the um, face cam one is because I don't, it doesn't have a, a number on it, neither does that, but I've got the instrument panel up for this one. <laughs> Still blurry, fuzzy. Um, I did the autofocus, and I think that's as best as it's gonna get. Maybe I do need to like bring it down a bit more. Sorry, you're late. Well, you're not that late. You're like 15 minutes late. That's not late at all, really. How much do we reckon that I'm gonna get done today? Because last time I didn't get hardly any done. I was a bit of a slow coach. You've got the C922. Yeah, I've got a scissor one, which was my old microphone one, but where I collapse it and put it up so many times, it's gone really horrible and it's not sturdy in the socket anymore. Whereas the one that I've got for my microphone, the one that's a, a quite a bit more expensive, is absolutely fine. It's so smooth, like you can't, it's just, ugh, it's a dream. Um. I'm going to opt for the more expensive one. I don't need the more expensive one, I just want it. Purely because like the mount that it sits in on the desk has, um, it's so good, it's so much better than the really rubbishy one that I've got at the moment. It's blue as well. Yeah, I was two minutes. Well, to me, I thought I pushed, I thought I pushed the go live button. Apparently I didn't. So I was on time because I thought that I pushed it at 20, 28. And then I looked at 2031 and I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't. Maybe I've got that loose connection as well. I don't know why I said maybe. We all know that that's completely true. You've been wanting to make videos too. You've only got a phone. Well, I used to record everything on my phone. If you look back at some of my really, really early videos, I used my phone to do all of my recording. And then I upgraded to um, a really, really rubbish web webcam. <laughs> but yeah. Nothing wrong with using your phone. You're on 4G now. Yeah. Delightful brothers doing. <laughs> oh. No! Get him off of it. Chuck him off. He sounds like a treat. Hi! 
Anil, is that how you say your name? A lot of phones, yeah, a lot of phones are pretty adequate nowadays. Like, I think when I started mine, I had an iPhone 5, and that is like nothing compared to the one that I've got now. Oh, thank you so much for your donation. Um, Amal? Amal? I want to say, I don't want to get it wrong. Please tell me if it's wrong. But I'm going to say Amal. Thank you so much. Very kind of you to donate. Very, very lovely. Much appreciated. Thank you. Um, I used to... <laughs> I used, I didn't have anything either because when I started I just had my phone, I didn't know what to do, I didn't know that there were arms and stuff that you could attach your phone to and things. Um, I used to um, stack a load of books up and then I used to put my ruler on top of the books and counterweight one side of the ruler and then balance and tape my phone to the other side so it was like overhanging, so it was like like this and then my phone would be on it but the end of the ruler would be way down on the books <laughs> so yeah that's how I used to do mine <laughs> but yeah you can go to like um, Primark now and they've got these arms and stuff that you can use to hold your phone Um, I've got this, which I use for Instagram lives. It's a little gorilla tripod thing, which holds your phone, which is just fine. Yeah, have a have a look around. I think that little gorilla tripod thing cost me. I want to say it cost me twelve pounds, which isn't the end of the world in regards to a bank balance. Or, no, sorry, a spend. <laughs> it is very technical. It's very technical, propping your phone on a ruler with loads of books. That's how all the professionals do it. I was gaming throughout the night. Oh, <laughs> that does sound like such a pleasure. It's your time for the internet now. He should know this by now. Sunday is, is bits his time for the internet. Right, so I've got the yellow down. I need to darken it, I think. I need to like add some orange. Ooh, what's this one? Oh no, not you. Ooh, this one? Ooh, there's too many pencils in my pot. Ooh, dark cadmium yellow. How's this one gonna fare? Yeah, behind the scenes. <laughs> I think I, I think, I wanna say that I did do a Facebook video of what I do, what I did, but I may have deleted that and that was ages ago. That was like back in 2014 that I would have done that. So yeah. Your hands get so shaky when you're holding the phone. Yeah, mine did too. And then I got that little little tripod thing. Um, but every now and then, like, if I'm filming a video for Instagram TV and the phone needs to be more upright, I just prop it up against my sellotape dispenser. <laughs> Again, real technical. But you don't want to watch, like, a really, like, an eight-minute long shaky like seriously shaky, especially when you're just sat there holding a phone like this and then it, it wanders where you get a little bit bored. You do not understand English. Well, you are typing some pretty good English. Oh man. Well, that's that's not good. What will what will make him consider giving you some internet time? What, maybe a maybe a favorite food. Like I can I 
can see that maybe working. Does he like food? What's the difference between Insta TV and live? Insta TV stays there for like as long as you want it, like a post, a bit like YouTube. Whereas the live only stays up for 24 hours because it's like posted on the story. You got into learning HTML and CSS. Oh, I loved that. I used to do that so much. Like back when MySpace was like the place to be, oh, I made so many custom um, MySpace sites with the HTML and CSS. It was so much fun. Yeah, web developer. That I, I love creating websites. It's good. It's good fun, isn't it? That would be really good. You should definitely go for that. This is blurry, isn't it? Let's see if we can make it not blurry. Right. I feel like there is like the sweet spot, maybe. Yeah, your hand drifts off and <laughs> you get half of it on the screen and half of it not. And then you realize that it's been filming like that and you're like, oh, well, that's that then. <laughs> a little bit of orange to the sky. Well, not orange, it's like a raw umber. I am just gonna move this down a bit, actually. Oh. Is that more in focus? That I feel like that's more in focus. Let me know. If not, I'll change it. That's what I mean about that boom arm. It's not smooth. It like goes in like eh, 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 eh. not good. He just shoveled food. Slept until five p.m. Wow. Wow. You've been at Alton Towers. Was that good? I've always wanted to go there. Did you go on the Wicker Man? Cause that ride looks so freaking cool. You can't decide what to draw while watching. Um, an eye study. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, an eye study for sure. That's what I would go with. This yellow is like exactly the same as the other one. I need like an orangey yellow. Orangey yellow. Jump at me. I've seen one around, but where was it? Where was it? Is it like a really little one, maybe? Oh, Ooh, is that it? That might be it. It looks different in the top. <laughs> Take his controller. Mm. I could see that going down very badly. Does he Xbox game or PC game? Or does he use the, the an Xbox or PS4 controller or whatever on the PC? You slept until 7am before. <sighs> That's bad. That's bad. You really want to draw? Um, I suggest, again, an eye study. Something colourful. Something. I'm using lots of oranges. I'm going to be using some green in a minute. Something colourful. A rainbow. Some Skittles. Ooh. Skittles. Mm. Creature with a long curved neck. Oh, that sounds interesting. You, it was good. I've heard good things about it. Did they have the fire? Did it do the fire thing? I really would love to go to Alton Towers, but I think I'm a little bit too old for roller coasters now. Just really, I'm scared for my life. 
a PC game with a weird keyboard and mouse. Is it like like a gamepad? Simon's got one of those. When I first saw it, I was like, what is that? Right, what is that colour? I feel like it's this. Like a bit of this. Sort of sprinkled in there. Pelican. <laughs> oh, I've got a good reference picture of a pelican. One of those um, grieb... Is it a, no, a grieb? Crested uh, heron thing? I don't know. What are they called? What are those African birds that are grey but have like the the yellow crowny bit? What are they called? I had the name earlier. Well, I say earlier, I mean the other day. I want to say it's like a crested something. Heron or a grebe or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> um, a griffin. Wink, wink. <laughs> I can't wink to save my life. <laughs> oh. I love fire. I think it's my favourite element. Um, you're not so techy. Um, oh, I wouldn't. I don't personally build art websites. Um, anybody else build arty websites? I'm in the process of building a new one. Um, because I want it to integrate with some different things. Like, my current one that I'm with is Wix, and it's pretty self-explanatory, and it's like a drag-and-drop, build-it-yourself kind of thing. And it's doing great at the moment, but it doesn't integrate with, like, MailChimp for sending out newsletters really easily, and I have to do everything twice, and it's getting really annoying. Um, like, I can't just send out, a, like, I want to build one on... Um, WordPress so you can just sort of click a button and it sends out like a coupon code to everybody that is registered to your newsletter and stuff that's what I want to do oh look we've got a new patron we have a new patron guys but yeah I don't personally build them. I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that at all. Not at all. Right. We need to be darker down here, but I feel like we need to use like some bee star and some raw umber, maybe. Ooh, maybe even some um, walnut brown. Ooh, get that in there. Secretary birds, is that what I'm going for? I have no idea. One of those cranes, yes. What are they called? Aren't they like African or something? I want to say that it's a crested. I'm going to have to Google it, guys, because it's going to annoy me. Um, crested crane. I don't know. Oh, yeah. A grey crowned crane. That's what it is. This. It's a grey crowned crane used to be the log thing Ooh. yeah isn't there like some sort of mist that you fly through or something sounds pretty good I mean that would be it doesn't have any loops or anything either does it it's just like an old fashioned wooden one which is quite nice um You only know the Dutch name. <laughs> that's not going to help me. But yeah, that's what it is. A Kruken Vogel. Oh, Vogel means bird, doesn't it? <laughs> Got a bad hairdresser. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
अरे You're hoping to get certified in everything IT. Well, then you would be the one to go to for websites. You need to do that. Get on that. Let's add this shading with some B star. I'm quite peckish. I didn't have very much for dinner today. So I might feel the effects of hunger. Vogel means bird. Yay, I got it right. <laughs> you see some of the beams? Oh, yeah. That doesn't sound good. I wouldn't like the wobbling beams. We had um, a roller coaster here that was really rickety. It was like a death trap, but everybody just loved it. And then somebody did die on it, and then it was like, oh no, I've got to shut this down now. So yeah. That doesn't sound good. I need some darker brown, like a walnut brown or something. for that walnut brown. Is that you? Yes. Get that shadow in. Maybe a little bit of red down here as well might help. Like a, oh, I can't get it out. This one. Ooh, light cadmium red. Mm. Let's see what this does. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Just removed the water and kept the main body of the flume. Oh, well, that's cutting corners, isn't it? New roller coaster, you expect everything to be new. Does look good, though. This bit isn't really in focus, is it? We used to have the corkscrew. I was left with an instant headache. Ugh. I hate that. The um, one at Thought Park, what's it called? Colossus. That like is so rattly, it's terrible. I used to have um, thingies, earrings, all the way up my ears. And I used to go on that and wear it, used to rattle you around, it used to make them bleed. It was horrible. I used to have to make sure I took all of my earrings out before I went on that. <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. Um, yeah, definitely. Definitely would recommend the Arteza pencils for sketchbook stuff. I am doing my own Lightfast test um, for those, by the way. And um, I checked. Um, I'm going to do like a one month reveal thing. And then a three month reveal thing um after one month they like some of the brighter colors have faded a touch which isn't ideal um especially for my sun conyers um but some of the more sort of neutral tones have stayed the same which is promising but yeah definitely for sketchbook stuff stuff that's not going to be like exposed to harsh lights or anything They are good pencils. Um, thank you. Yeah, the colours are getting there. Just building them up slowly. It's like really dark down here though, so I'm going to have to work on these bits a bit more. It's got a pretty nice yellow belly. Um, 
all about that shading. Corkscrew, the corkscrew is the only upside down ride you've been on. <laughs> Look like a tortoise. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> oh, man, you did a comparison with the Arteza pencils on your Instagram. Ooh, like uh, light fastness or comparison with um, other pencils hunger makes you grumpy <laughs> hunger makes me grumpy like when I'm really hungry I just there's no point even bothering trying to speak to me I feel ya it's bad isn't it golden pheasant bird yes they are really kind of scary there was one at the um rare breed center near me and it they just like run back and forth and it's really scary and then they go all weird and like try and puff up and it's just they're really weird <laughs> the saw ride no the saw ride scared the life scared the life out of me i was actually that was I don't normally scream on roller coasters. That one I did. Jesus, that was terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. The first bit where it goes like up and then over and under and then like straight down. It was really scary. Yeah, the Arteza pencils are really, really impressive. I do like them. It's just I don't trust that they're going to not fade. Like I know that the polychromos and the luminance aren't going to fade. Um, because I have drawings of my own which are four or five years old, haven't faded an inch. Um, but when it, it's just like a new company, isn't it? And then, yeah. <laughs> They're probably fine. But just in case, I'm not selling my work with them or anything. You're, oh, now I know. I see you pop up on my little thingy every now and then. I'll take a look. Um, yeah, I would um, definitely wait for the 72 set. Definitely. Definitely wait for that. Wonder blue. Delft blue. I'm just like talking to myself at this at the moment then. <laughs> um there's so many positives. Yes. Light fastness won't matter if it's in a sketchbook, would it? Because it's not gonna be exposed, it's gonna be in the dark. Most well, hopefully. If it's a sketchbook, you usually keep a sketchbook closed, don't you? <laughs> but yeah, they are really good pencils. I really did enjoy using mine, like so so much. I was really pleased with what I managed to achieve with them as well. But yeah, definitely worth an investment. And they're really cheap as well, so you can't really go wrong. Where am I based? I'm in Kent. Folkestone, Kent. Have the vertical uphill cranking. Yes. <laughs> Lorikeets are beautiful birds. They are really want to draw some of those because like blue and red and green a bit like this but more blue or bluey purple where we mauve is that what you would call it would you call it mauve <laughs> happily in the dark <laughs> yes <laughs> i can't live in the dark i need the light to draw need that light um Oh, don't worry. Do not worry, Melissa. You're not. I'm exactly the same. Like, <laughs> when I first started and I would message people, I'd be like, um. So, yeah. 
Um, hi, Jacqueline. You live in Hythe. That isn't far. I was stalking my IKEA delivery today. It was in Hythe. I was like, oh, come on. <laughs> Um, Jaffa is meowing at the door. I think he wants to come in. He's not gonna though. That's to stay outside. Um. Being in a sketchment would mean you don't draw on a hard surface. Um, I guess. Like, when I've used a sketchbook, you draw on top of the other paper, which is a little more cushiony. I don't really like that. Don't, don't scratch the carpet, cat. <laughs> I'm gonna have to let him in because otherwise he's just gonna cry. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Took his time. Um, now he's going to cry to go back out. Jeff and I. If he jumps on the, up on the um, door, I will not be happy. I will not be happy if he does that. Right. <laughs> Hi Beatrice, how are you? You're by Gatwick. That's not far either. That isn't far. I travelled through Gatwick last week. All by myself. You usually put a bit of a thick plastic sheet. I never thought about that. You could use like a big, like a bit of um, board or something. Like a bit of uh, wood. That's the word I was looking for. You could use something like that to put underneath your paper. I have never thought about doing that. You are a genius. That's an absolute genius idea. Hi, Jeff. <laughs> your auntie used to live in a little bungalow right next to the railway, rail, the railway track in Hyde. Nice. I do love Hyde. It's a, it's a lovely town? Village? What do you call it? Area? It is nice. No, shush. You're not going back out. You asked to come back in. You stay there. Um, your artistic ability is awesome. Thank you. Exactly. It's nice, isn't it? People from every corner can communicate and share ideas and other stuff whatever you want to share nothing too weird <laughs> but it is nice it's a amazing technology nowadays <laughs> Jaffa you're a celebrity you're just looking at me and looking at the door Jaffa Nope, he's just doing the slow eye close thing now. I presume that means he loves me. I always think that it means that he's telling me he loves me. It's probably just like human. He wants feeding. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, probably does. Probably wants dreamies. I'm going to have some more gin because I have my own little tonic water up here. So I don't want it to go cold. I mean warm. How much should I put in? I don't want to put too much in. Hi Sam, how are you? It's been a while. How was the Dartford Tunnel? It was fine on the way... Thank you, hello. Don't, please don't, please. Please don't. <laughs> Stay on the floor, please. Yeah, it was fine on the way back. Um, on the way there, it was just a nightmare. But yeah, back was fine. Oh. 
Um, you were drawing and doing homework. Well, that's a good excuse. You just overcome your art block tonight. That's good. Thank you. I'm glad that I could help. How to have your tea? Some say with toast. <laughs> Yes. Was that you or the can? It was the it was the can I was opening. <laughs> it was the can. It was the can. Yeah, you go over the bridge and like on the way there everybody stops to get into the right lane because they don't know. You're going to be annoying, aren't you, Jaffa? I'm going to chuck you out again if you're not careful. But yeah, on the way back it was just smooth sailing. It took me an hour and a bit to get back home from where I was. But on the way there it took me like two and a half, almost three hours. No. Go on out. <laughs> Meowing. Jaffa just wants to be somewhere warm. He likes to stay underneath my desk. But I'm here at the moment. So he can't. I mean like that. No. Much prefer going over the bridge, yes. Me too. Although the bridge is high. I always have to stick in a middle lane when I go over the bridge rather than at the sides. Just in case, you know, like Godzilla turns up or something, or some kind of massive creature. <laughs> uh, I'm not even kidding either. So I need to give this like feather texture. So, start doing some crisscrossy lines. Used to make regular appearances. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he did. And poor old man, well as well. Yeah, just in case. You never know what might happen. It could happen. If it happens, then I'm smart. And I warned you all. <laughs> yes. Jurassic Park is <laughs> around the corner. <laughs> Have you seen Cloverfield? That could happen as well. Anything is possible. You always forget to pay. I, uh, yeah, tut tut Emma, tut tut. I always make sure that I pay in advance. Otherwise I would forget. I was paid the night before I planned to go. Is it valid for a year now by paying online, isn't it? Well, Jaffa hasn't wanted to come back in, so I presume he just wanted to come and say hello. You've not actually seen Jurassic Park. That's atrocious. Atrocious. If you ever come down here again, I'm going to kidnap you and make you watch Jurassic Park because everybody should watch dinosaurs. So we need to darken this bit. I need to add some green on the wings. Anything I'd like to be able to draw without reference. All of the animals. <laughs> like 
I uh, wish that I had like a photographic memory type thing and I could just be like, yep, that's what I need to draw. Let's draw it. But wouldn't that kind of be like using a reference photo? If I've memorised like photographically. Hmm. Hi, Lynn. It's okay, don't worry. Only an hour. Not that bad. Thank you. Get in there. Need to add a little bit more orange, I think. And a bit more brown. Um, orange tone. Maybe we could try some of the more sort of natural looking oranges, like terracotta. Um, no, I use luminance, Caran Dash luminance as well. Um, what else do I use? Sometimes I use Prismacolors. Sometimes I use Pablo pencils as well. So I use a mixture. Mainly use Polychromos because I just love them. They're my favourite. But I do mix it up. <laughs> I like that. Pablo's even less. <laughs> do you like this song bits? It's pretty, pretty jazzy, isn't it? Prisma colours. Yep. <laughs> what about the Pablo pencils? They get left out. They get left out. I need... Where's that pencil that I like? Um... Oh, hello. Yeah, she did joke about teaching. <laughs> um, what would I like to draw? Dragons. Because, you know, dinosaurs. I'd love to be able to draw a dinosaur. Because I did think about drawing a dinosaur. With a coloured pencil. But then I was like, mm, but there's not really any reference. Apart from watching Jurassic Park. I can't steal a, a still from that or anything. Could put my own spin on it though. Um. Oh, I think I recognise your name. Yes. I do all of the YouTubes. <laughs> it does seem very upbeat. Yes. It's, um, ironic beat. Is that what I'm looking for compared to the lyric? Convince your nephew has a photographic memory. Oh, yeah. That's kind of creepy, isn't it? Like, you've moved this. Your rug has moved an inch. <laughs> that you... A di yes, do it. Do it. I want to draw a dinosaur or a dragon. Or anything kind of mythological. Pegasus. Although that's just like a horse with some wings. That's pretty easy. But yeah, horse without a reference would be good. Your mum is edging to go out. Where she want to go? I need to sharpen this pencil. Sorry for the noise. got a, like a mountain of notifications this always happens during streams always get like so many so many just out she's fed up with the dogs oh okay so just just want to go outside the front door <laughs> that's what i'd do let's go out right outside the front door actually that's not true now i have a car i can go out I kind of done that thing though where before I had my own car I was like I really want to go places, really annoyed that I can't go anywhere. Now I have my own car, I'm like, eh, I don't need to go anywhere. It's fine, just stay at home. Just stay in pajamas all day. Who needs to get dressed? Hmm. 
notices if little things have moved. Oh, that is kind of scary. I don't know if I'd like that. There's obviously like common stuff moves a lot. But like maybe if your lampshade was twisted a quarter too much or maybe or something like that. I don't know. What should I do? Oh, I don't know. Oh, oh. Um I'm gonna say Pegasus because that seems kind of like the more simpler thing to start out with because horse form with wings or all of them combined hmm Pegasus my vote is Pegasus this pencil smells funny as well it's like really woody Pablo, never heard of. Oh, they're by Karen Dash. They're quite good. <laughs> they are quite good. Where's the dark sepia? You are warm grey. You are dark sepia. <laughs> yes. <gasps> Unicorn! But that's just a horse with a horn. Horsicorn! I need blue as well. Karen de <laughs> Good spelling. Good spelling there. Oh, look at that. It's nice and blue now. Nice and blue. This one's very quiet. He does have autism. Oh, then he could have like the photographic memory type thing. Maybe he's a Sheldon. Did you see the unicorn pony? No? Did I? I don't know. On Facebook? I don't think I did. Um, what was I doing? Oh yes. These look really yellow. On here on the stream preview but they're actually quite orange I think I need to just change the white balance that's slightly better anyone got good ideas for the pose yes definitely full body definitely full body like I'm just imagining like a majestic horse like ah, or something I don't know <laughs> Right, let's use a little bit more red. A bit more red down. Gonna need to do that green wing as well. Wasn't that a TV program? Hi Kathleen! How are you? How you been? It's been a while since the YouTube stream. I missed you guys. I missed you guys. We're getting there with this guy. Have I had polychromous break? Yes, I have. I had one um, which was delivered in its own tube and it must have rattled around a lot, but every time I sharpened it, broke. Broke. I was not happy. And it was like, I ordered a load of warm grey ones. The others all came in like the same pack, in, in the same box. And then this other one just came by itself because I ordered, I think it was like seven I ordered. Um, yeah, and it must have rattled around and it broke. Oh, every time I sharpened, snap. So yeah. Um. Yes. It can be a useful trait to have. I presume we're talking about autism here. <laughs> you had an ivory polychromos break several times. No! Yeah, pretty sure that this um, warm grey one had been like... It came in, one of, in this in box like this. Like one of these, but obviously a smaller one because this holds 12. And it was just by itself, you know, on its own. So yeah. Must have been rattling around. 
whole thing broke. Such a sad story. He knows a lot about technology. He's only seven, wow. Yeah, maybe he will be a Sheldon. jumper off it's getting a bit warm getting very warm geek squad decided <laughs> your laptop wasn't worth fixing oh that's that's not good exchange it for a brand new laptop nice i saw your post about your new laptop is it is it going good do you like it i love new technology I love like working out how everything works and what I can do with it. It's a little bit sad, really. Um, what would make it easier for you to, in order to learn how to make websites? Um, don't know. I'm confused with that question. <laughs> Pony called Joker. Um, did I like it? I feel like I remember the name and I feel like I might have liked the post, but I can't remember. I want to say yes. Don't know though. You will do absolutely brilliant in your interview. We will all send you luck. Send Chris luck for his interview. Because that's important. Do well at the jobs. Um, don't trust. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what Geek Squad is. Is that? I'm guessing it's like a PC repair place. <laughs> Gonna be one of the best of whatever. Yes, for sure. Maybe, maybe you should get him into art. Does he like art? I feel like technology and art kind of go hand in hand, kind of. Like graph, um, graphic, digital art, graphic design. That would be good. Oh, melting batteries. That doesn't sound good at all. It does not sound good. Oops. Oh, bye, bye, Ben. I saw your message. Don't know where it's gone. Where'd it go? Thanks for dropping by. Yes, I can't wait to see the final result either, and I'm not sure how long it's going to take me. Probably a million years. <laughs> Hopefully, sometime soon, I'll finish it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Oh yes, WordPress. Yeah, user friendly. Yes, WordPress is user friendly. That's what I'm making when a site with WordPress, because you can do so many more things and integrate so many different things. That is good. I mean, Wix is a little bit um, stifling with what it offers and what I need from it. I mean, it was good until I got to where I am now. And now I'm moving past the point of the features that it offers and I'm just like, I need more. <laughs> Crystal ball. <laughs> good vibes for the interview, that's good. Um. I have. I'm actually drawing on my iPad at the moment of um, doing a drawing of my dog. Um, I posted it on Instagram, my Instagram story the other day. I was working a bit on it. But yeah, I do enjoy that kind of thing. It's nice. It's so much more freeing than to, oops, sorry, <laughs> than traditional drawing and stuff. It was good.
but that's not on uh, Photoshop or anything, that's on Procreate on the iPad, or the iPad. Right, I need to add in the dark areas around the wing. So I'm going to use some walnut brown, I think. Around here. That's it. Like so. He sometimes has a bit of a draw, but not much. All about technology. Nothing wrong with that. Technology is great. I couldn't do without my gadgets. Right. Oops. That was a bit thicker than I wanted, but oh well, we'll we'll manage with that. We'll manage. Um he used to design websites, but you know, you just use WordPress. Mm. Yes, good old HTML. Good old HTML. Dinner's in the oven, now you can relax and watch. Yes, what are you having? Something good? Um, know how. Who know nothing? Yes, in PC world or whatever it is. Can you see how it looks? I will, yeah, hold on, let me show you. I need to get my iPad though. Come here, rascal it is. Um, you're going to bed. Oh, ooh, thanks for stopping by Beatrice. Nice to have you along. Hi drawing boss, how are you? Procreate, where are you at? Procreate. Ooh. Hold on. Turn round. That's not turning. Oop. Okay, I have to spin it. There we go. This is what I've got so far. Oh, I mean, okay. Let me zoom out. There you go. That's him, that's my dog so far. That's Skip. And I'm using the Apple Pencil for that. So yeah, that's fun. I'm enjoying doing this. A little bit in my spare time and stuff. Going good, going good. That's all I've done though. <laughs> that's all I've done. The wings are looking golden. Yes. That's what we're after. That's what we're after, guys. Golden wings. Um, that moment when you don't know how to make a tutorial. <laughs> yeah. Um, he just unfollowed. <laughs> oh yes, I see. <laughs> um thinking Nip around to a drive through and you can get a chocolate muffin. Definitely go for the chocolate muffin. Yes. I had a mini roll earlier. So, uh, I thought that mini rolls had cream and chocolate in them, but it had jam. And I was expecting chocolate and I tasted jam and I was like, this isn't the same. This is not a mini roll. This is not what I remember. I think I'm just thinking of the chocolate ones with just the cream in and not the jam. Um... Meatloaf covered in tomato soup, broccoli. Ooh, broccoli casserole. That sounds delicious. That sounds like right up my alley. Um, thank you. I know. The iPad and the drawing. It's amazing. Because it's just like drawing, but not. <laughs> um, thank you. There's a, there's a skip hair. That's what, yeah, floating around. <laughs> he wants to be part. He wants the essence of Skipper's here. I need like a really unusual green. And I no, don't know if I have it. I might have to crack open the uh, Pablo pencils. Oh no, no. We're saved. We have a polychromos. But I need to add in those darker areas. Which I was doing, wasn't I? Kept seeing people walking around with donuts. Oh, 
like the um, little mini ring donuts. I'm not fond of those. Could eat one. But yeah. Um, why would you cover meatloaf in tomato sauce? <laughs> oh, I get it. Because of meatloaf. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. This sounds like one of the jokes that I made the other day. It was absolutely terrible. Oh dear. Yeah, that probably did sound funnier in your head. <laughs> Normal minerals. Yeah, they're just like the chocolate sponge with the, with the cream in it. Not jam, and this had jam in it, and I was like, this isn't the same, I don't enjoy this at all. So I think I might just stick with the angel cake, and then just give the mini rolls to Simon and James. <laughs> um, how does it compare? You have a whack on is that how you say it? I never know. Um, I love it. I... Like the pressure on the iPad with the pencil is amazing. You can do some really nice calligraphy. I was trying that out. I didn't actually save anything though. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. When I get the chance, I can't put it down. Like the other night, I was supposed to watch a film. I just couldn't put the iPad down and stop drawing. I was like, mm, you can do what you like, Simon. You can play your whatever game you want I'm just happy drawing on my iPad but yeah it is um I've never got on with Photoshop because I've never had like a digi pad or anything to work on with Photoshop but with the iPad you can screen share if you have a Mac um and you can um get this get your screen on your Mac so you can use Photoshop and do stuff with your Apple Pencil. Mind blown. It's amazing. But yeah, I really enjoy it. So much more intuitive than Photoshop. Photoshop I find a little bit clumsy, there's just so many things to click. But with that you've literally got like four or five options along the top. It's so good. Fresh sugar donuts. Yeah, those, I can't really eat, like, th the smell of them is amazing. But then as soon as you go and eat one, it's like, mm, no, I'm not enjoying this anymore. What am I doing? Um, making me hungry. <laughs> I want a donut now. I only had a jacket potato for, for dinner. And a cheese string. <laughs> the weirdest dinner in the world. Custard donuts. Oh, you know, I never used to like custard donuts, but they have grown on me. Just plain chocolate, plain chocolate, plain custard donuts. Not the chocolate custard fancy stuff. Um, Nutella, yeah, you got out of college right when they were just starting computer art, oh, that, that's kind of annoying, like when, when you just finish a degree or whatever and then they introduce something else that you would probably rather do and you're like, oh man, <laughs> Bone died. No, Krispy Kreme. I've only ever had Krispy Kreme donuts once, and I wasn't that thrilled by them. Maybe I didn't have the right ones. I just had the, like the ordinary glazed ones, because that was like calling to me. Oh, I do like plain stuff. Um, this might be completely the wrong colour. Yep. I need like a like an apple green apple green maybe that that's a bit too bright I need like a dark apple green hmm maybe that one maybe this one 
Juniper green. That sounds like it might be my friend. Hmm. It's a bit on the blue side. Need something with a little bit more yellow in it. Maybe that one. Like this colour, but darker. I can't seem to find it. You? Oh, permanent green. You like how... You like his wing, how it's coming together. Good. Good. Because it's not really coming together at the moment. So... Oh, perfect colour. Perfect. Like a dark apple green. We found it. We can't have sugar anymore. <laughs> Aww. That's a, that's a shame. Not even a little bit. Not even just like a nibble of a donut. I'm not even a big fan of donuts. Waffles is where I'm at. Waffles covered in chocolate. Yum yum. Ooh, cinnamon buns. Yep. Um, what are the other things? Chelsea buns. Yummy yummy. They never appealed to you. <laughs> I only got a Krispy Kreme donut when I was um, at a service station once. That's when I was like, hmm, I'll give you a go. Purely only because they was out of croissants. <laughs> I love the chocolate sprinkles. Um, the glazed ring boring ones. <laughs> All of the boring ones are the best. Oh, I've got such an itchy nose again today. Um... You prefer Sainsbury's mini chocolate ones. You know what? I just like the ordinary donuts which are covered in actual sugar and not icing sugar. The ones that are covered in sugar and you get it everywhere and it's like, oh, I can't take my lips. Yeah, those ones are my favourites. Have a good, good sense for colour. Thank you. I mean... I am trying. I'm trying my best here. So greens and everything are completely unusual to me when it comes to wildlife drawing, especially in feathers and fur and stuff. I mean, I know this isn't fur, but you know. You gets it. Where's that dark sepia gone? <laughs> like having one. <laughs> I know. I know. You can never just have one, can you? You have to have the whole bag. <laughs> Let's darken this up. Oh, hello. Um, introduce you to rolling out short cross pie. Oh, that does sound nice. Like some kind of like cinnamon cookie almost. I love pastry. A mouse just ran in the kitchen. Get that. Get it out. Oh. After your donuts. <laughs> yes. box a mouse in. <laughs> That's tickled me. There's a mouse. Move. Move house. Now. That's funny. Um... Need some yellow. But I need like this like orangey yellow. Ooh, that's nice. Throw some of that down there. I think we've done the same amount of drawing as we did in the last live stream, so pretty good. We're on a roll. Poor patrol. For those of you that have children. Paw Patrol is amazing. 
those of you that don't, you're missing out. Missing out big time. Oops. All right, I'm gonna add this dark section down here because then I feel like I can judge the green better. Maybe. We will see. Oh, I just realized we've got quite a few people watching today. 38 people, I think that's the most I've ever had. Thanks guys. I'm pretty chuffed with that. There's Sky. Yes. The the dog. <laughs> Marshall is my favorite because he's a Dalmatian and I love Dalmatians. And he's a fireman. Yes. Paw Patrol. It's amazing. <laughs> Brother is causing your internet to lag. <laughs> Add this little blue sock, blue bit. Oh yeah, rave time. I'll turn it up for you, shall I? It's quite quiet. It's 38. 35 now. Your girl's turn and still loves Paw Patrol. <laughs> it is good. I would watch it, like, just because if I, even if I didn't have James and I was home, I'd probably just put it on. Cause it's a great program. I love it. This is a real big dark area here. <laughs> Are you enjoying that? Enjoying the, the tunes? Um. Jump, jump. <laughs> you know what? I kind of. I was in two minds whether or not to stream on YouTube or Twitch because I was like, oh, Twitch, I can listen to actual music. But, but yeah. YouTube is um, Sunday streams, isn't it? So. We're back to lift music. Easy listening. No copyright sounds. Except for this. This is pretty awesome. You need to add a little bit more yellow there, I think. Jump around. I like that song. So you know what I'm really annoyed about guys is the fact that I bought a new bookshelf from Ikea you know because I just um, rearranged a few bits in my in my in my studio is anyone else getting the circle yeah my stream just dropped my my thingy just dropped a bit it's my end my end guys um anyway I purchased a new bookcase and I've rearranged some stuff and it's annoying because you can't actually see the difference in my studio from the stream. Um, down here, like behind me, there used to be like a massive pile of books and uh, <laughs> no, it got delivered here in the end. Uh, it used to be a massive pile of books and just uh, like boxes of cards and boxes of stock which I wanted to put somewhere and we had this massive trunk this old chest thing out in the hallway which had my printer on it so I decided to move the chest with the printer over there by the wardrobe so I can actually access my printer in here and I put the bookshelf in the hallway so I can actually move through the hallway easier now and all of my stocks out there and all I've got a carpet I didn't know I had carpet I have a floor and I can move in the space now which is really nice 
but you can't appreciate that from the stream because you just see this area and the wall. <laughs> so yeah, that saddened me. But I did, I did love organising the bookshelf earlier. It's having so much fun. Do love a good organisation party. Had a bit of Lonely Island on, having a little sing song whilst I was sorting out my shelves, sorting out my card stock. It was good fun. Yeah, so my delivery was in Hythe. I was tracking it and I was like, you're in high. You're sitting along the, the Sandgate promenade bit. It was there for ages. I had to wait until just gone one o'clock to get me delivery. It was a long, long wait this morning. Right. This dark area is going pretty damn good. So I'm pleased with that. Let's get all this bit up to the branch done. I feel like I may have to work a little bit more on this outside of a live stream. <laughs> Cause this is a tiny bird and I've got all of this branch to do and another bird and everything. I feel like it's going to take me forever. So I might try and organise my week this week because I have to do a... I have to finish a tutorial for the Animal Artist Collective video on Thursday. Um, which will be the only video on YouTube this week actually. It won't be a Friday video. It'll be dedicated to the Animal Artist Collective. So I've got to finish off my tutorial and drawing for that. And then the rest of the week is pretty much clear. Because I'm actually ahead of schedule this month, surprisingly. Maybe I'll work on this in a Twitch stream on um, Wednesday. How would that sound? You're a Virgo, you're constantly reorganising. What's my excuse? I'm a Leo. I love organising though, like, I love a good rearrange. It's so cleansing <laughs> happily organizing paper chasers pens <laughs> no i hate that people unorganize your organization Ugh. people Ugh. where did everyone go they dropped off probably because of the little circle of death maybe i don't know <laughs> Um, yeah, there is more branch than bird, definitely. Definitely more branch than bird, but I feel like the branch might be quite easy to do because it, oh, I don't know though. I just looked at it and just realised what I have to tackle. Hmm, maybe this wasn't such a good one to do. Although, the sun conyers did actually take me like an absolute age, didn't they? I think I was working on those for about three months in total. Maybe. I still haven't finished the macaw either. I've got that to do still. Paint me your nails whilst watching. What colour? That's the most important. What colour? Um, trying to do. <laughs> what's she trying to? What's she trying to Pokemon? You're a Scorpio. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Scorpion you. <laughs> You're a Leo too. Hooray for lions. Rawr. Lion power. I was thinking the other day, I don't think there is any other star sign that I would actually prefer to be. Like, I feel like a lion is pretty much where I'm at. You're a Scorpio. Hi Anna! How are you? I 
I gave myself a manicure, um, Kathleen. I actually have fingernails now. <laughs> Takes a lot to push. <laughs> I'm scared now. <laughs> Your name is a typo to begin with. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, yeah, how do you say that? Mooies? I don't even know. Oh, drawing the branch. I love drawing branches. Anything that's a different texture, I do love. Like, I love the thought of doing it. Then when it comes to doing it, like the beginning, I'm a bit like, no, what was I thinking? And then I get into it, and it's like, like this song. You're back, you couldn't find it. Oh, it's probably just made a home somewhere. And then it will come out and you'll be like, there you are. There you is. Need to be a little bit more pressureful. Need to apply a little bit more pressure with the pencil. <laughs> pressureful, good wordage. Good wordage. Where did Amy get, oh yeah, there you are. Um, McDonald's don't have any chocolate muffins. I didn't even know they did chocolate muffins. Moist something. Moist life. What? Oh, the name. The name. Ultramarine. Your ring fingers have a darker. Oh, sparkles! Yes, gotta have sparkles. Gotta have the sparklies. I was annoyed that I couldn't find any that were sparkly for me. Such a shame. It's supposed to be like moly. I don't know. <laughs> Hi Katie, how are you? Thank you. They are, cu well, will be cute if I ever get them finished. Which, at the pace I'm going, is looking doubtful. <laughs> um, you was on the phone to your mummy. Oh. I was going to say, where are you? And then your name popped up. I was like, there you are. There you are. I need like pine green. Perfect. That's what I'm after. That's just what I'm after. Mixed with a little bit of brown, maybe. Oh no. Purple? Oh no, I've got the perfect colour. Red. Red violet. Perfect. Well that is, you know. My spot on! Um, pressureful. Yeah, my words come a little bit confused when I have some gin. Pressureful. Maybe we should add that to the dictionary. You've got parfaits. Mmm. I do like a good parfait. I didn't even know they did muffins, so I'm surprised. Well, I'm not that surprised, but yeah. Supposedly yoghurt with strawberries, blueberries and granola bars. Gotta love the little oat crumble. You should try a bread store or bakery. <laughs> There's none open. There's none open. Not a supermarket one anyway. Oh, what is that? I need to get some contact paper. Like some, I don't know, some kind of sheeting to go right over my desk because I accidentally have made a gouge in my desk down here and it's annoying me it's no longer pristine so I need some like wood effect contact paper if anybody's seen any and can point me in the right direction please send me a link like a nice oak effect or something like that just something nice that looks nice and like wood that isn't white
Parfait's rock, yes. Always ring a mum at 10pm. Oh, that's lovely. That is really sweet. Um, Dutch is very difficult for others to pronounce. Like Vogel. Oh, I'm confused already. <laughs> Would affect contact paper, like sticky back plastic. Like wrapping paper, but with stuff on the back, basically. For my desk. I made a gouge with me scanner. I accidentally shifted it without lifting it, and it, it's made a groove thing gouge out of my desk. It's no longer nice and white and shiny and new. It's damaged. Ow. That is sharp. Hi! How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. It's okay. Don't worry about being late. Don't worry at all. Um, in fact, I'm not streaming until half eleven this evening. Because I'm tired. <laughs> um, I'm going to go to half ten today because, like, two hours is plenty, I feel. I had a good innings, I've done a lot of drawing, so I'm going to stream until half past ten today. So, 20 minutes more. Um. <laughs> so, just reading the chat there. There's a lot of hellos. You're all very pleasant. It's what I like to see. Pre you present people. You're present, but you're also pleasant. Oh, I need a little bit of blue through here. Like a little bit of shine. Where's Nilla? Um, absent. Not present. Am I going to be live streaming again soon? I'm going to be Twitch live streaming. I'm going to add the Twitch handle and everything and the links to the descriptions of my videos in uh, future um, videos. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm looking for. I'm going to add it to uh, future videos so that um, and add it that I will be live streaming every single Wednesday on Twitch as a sort of basic schedule but not YouTube not YouTube until next week next Sunday I'll be back on YouTube but you're welcome to join on Twitch if you like it's just Amy Howard Art on Twitch um, I'm sure somebody could provide the link bits maybe I don't have a button for that yet I have follow me but I haven't added twitch to it should do that I was giving bits a hard time yes <laughs> I don't does bits miss him <laughs> you miss his witticisms he's very witty he's a very witty person Um, need a word like where the G is made from the throat. <laughs> you try to attend Twitch on Wednesday. You, oh, that's fine. It's fine. We the, it says at the top of Twitch, get bits, and uh, people were saying like if they click that, will it make you come to the stream? <laughs> Never heard of how to use Twitch. It's basically the same as YouTube. It's just um, more specifically for live streaming rather than ordinary video content. Hello. 
you have a love-hate relationship where you just love to hate him. <laughs> or do you hate that you love him? Yeah, at the top of Twitch it says get bits. It's not for you. It, they're like cheer bits that you donate to people, but yeah. You don't even know how to use Instagram. <laughs> oh dear. What's the background of the drawing going to be? I'm not going to put in a background. It's just going to be the paper white and then this branch, like this thorny branch thing. It's just going to be there. Um, I don't really like to put backgrounds on me on my pictures. I'm not that competent yet. I, mean, I could probably do a background, but I just I don't like to do them purely because they take forever. I mean, look how long it's taking me to do this section. Can you imagine how long it would take me to cover the whole piece? Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> that's not happening at all. Um. Hi! How are you? Alaha? Olaha? Which one? I hope I got that. I hope I got that right. Don't tend to speak the throaty words. No. You thought it was. Oh, it can make you special. It's gonna be your button. But when you click it, you need to appear. So. We'll work on that. We'll work on it. You're a bit old. Doesn't matter. You can still do it. You can still do it. Gee, I'm talking about is a bit more German like. Thank you. You love to see what I'm doing and get inspiration. That's good. I'm glad I helped. I'm, I'm really pleased that I have managed to help some people. That's my aim. Um, yeah, it will take me an absolute age to draw a background. <laughs> so long. I don't know if I'd enjoy it. don't know if I'd enjoy it at all. Um... Ah, yes, maybe like some kind of Spanish mix or something like that, maybe. Hi Jacqueline, I could you use pastel pencils? Yes, I've got some pan pastels, um, and I was going to buy some more pan pastels and practice with some backgrounds. What's going on? Okay, um, but yeah, I never actually got round to it. Maybe I'll do that, because I would like to add in some like, like, you know, blurry backgrounds, that kind of stuff. I will see. There's so many art supplies that I want to buy that I shouldn't buy. Like at the moment, I'm toying with buying, I'm, I'm really into like the whole learning thing and learning how to do stuff. And I'm, there's so many courses that I want to enroll in at the moment and I'm trying to decide which one. I'm so indecisive. But that's where I'm deciding to spend a lot of my, um, invest a lot of my profits into at the moment is a little bit more education into certain things and doing things a little bit prop more properly that's where I'm at that's where I want to spend um, some business profits and stuff at the moment rather than more materials that I potentially won't use <laughs> exactly as well so many art supplies so little storage although I do have a spare shelf on the new bookcase Um, Scots speak throaty words, they do, like lock, yep. <laughs> you wanted to do Instagram but you have no idea, tags, you don't have to tag, you don't have to use the tags, you can get discovered without the tags but it is easiest, easier, easiest with the tags. Um, pan pastels are very good for blurry backgrounds, so yeah. That's what I want to do, but I've got like a sample pack of pan pastels. I've got a red and a yellow, so I could make like a fire background, but nothing would suit a fire background. And I don't think many subjects are going to suit a red and yellow background. But I need like the neutral colours, or like, um, 
like blues and greens, that kind of thing. That's what I need to do. The Wicker Man is Scottish. It is. You don't do Instagram, but the Twitch was easy. <laughs> you have blue jays drawn. Got one sitting on a rather strange branch. What kind of branch? Is it like really knobbly? That kind of strange? What's the texture like? Um, Emma Colbert, yes! She does like a whole pan pastel palette type thing as well, doesn't she? Which um, I was looking at. Does she do um, an animal set or something like that? I think I saw. Because I was like, oh, I could get that. But then I didn't. It's not much of a starter pack, no. Um, it was a thing, I don't know if it's just Jackson's that do it or what, but yeah, it was through Jackson's and it was just two colours and the, the pan and pastel soft tool stuff. And I was like, that's what I did with the fish. And I was like, what can I create with red and yellow? <laughs> you involuntary twitch. In, well, involuntarily twitch sometimes. <laughs> that's good to know. That's good to know. Um, your mother-in-law is Scottish. You can't understand them. <laughs> yes. I have a, uh, like, I have a hard time understanding anybody, regardless of their accent anyway. But when you involve an accent, I'm like, eh? <laughs> Especially if it's like a strong accent, like you get really strong Scottish accents. I'm lost. I have to take an interpreter. It's like a wide branch to make it look like the J is on the branch. Oh, okay. So just like ordinary branch texture. That's easy, branch texture. When I say branch, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. But I'm not. We've got unison animal pastels. Oh, did we just get a pledge? I missed it. I missed the little dancing bear thing. Um, we've got your best friend's parents and relatives are Scots. They have softened their accents. <laughs> Good. <laughs> oh no! See, that would kind of be my worst nightmare: is going somewhere that I just I know that I can't understand anyone. Um, ooh, it started with a kingfishy doing the, the blue tit. That's looking good. That's looking good. Um, ba 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 ba. It's like the Noofies. <gasps> Noofies? The dogs. You want about the dog breed because I love them. You're Geordie. See, I like a good Geordie accent. I can understand that. That's something that my ears can interpret well. <laughs> um, I have written it wrong purely because of the tag and the ranking system on YouTube. It Videos that are spelt the American way, coloured, rank a lot higher and a lot quicker than when I spell it the English way. That's why I spelt it wrong. <laughs> That's the only reason. But yes, it is the um, it is the American way of spelling it. But I haven't moved. It's just for ranking purposes. It's clearly worked because it got a lot of viewers earlier. Can do a golden red sunset. I could, I could. Like, um, oh, my uh, grandmother's got a really good picture of like an African um, sunset, and it's really red and nice. Or is it Indian? It might be Indian. 
but it's a really nice sunset. Oh, maybe I could steal that and do something. Maybe. Um, it was a good image on Pixabay, wasn't it? There was a couple that I was toying with on Pixabay, and I ultimately went for that one. I was like, I like that one. I was going to add some like blossoms to the branch and stuff, but I didn't have time and I really needed to get the tutorial out, so I didn't bother. But I really wish that I would have now. Maybe I'll um, add blossoms to like a great tea or something like that, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> the people in Nova. I've never met anyone from there, I wouldn't know. I thought you were talking about the dogs, got excited then, I was like, don't be <laughs> My bad. Right, we got quite a lot accomplished. I'm just gonna add in like this dark area down here. So it looks like the feathers have got a little bit of shadow. And then I'm just going to have a little bit of a chill out and finish off my gin. Green color. Skinny looking branch. Ah, Leaves. Yes, leaves would cover it up. Blur it, maybe? You need to find the tutorial. It's on YouTube or on my uh, website for tutorial subscribers. But yeah, I did like a short version on YouTube. You want to draw a raven? Hand fed one, ooh, nice. I've never actually met a raven, are they nice? It's like um, magpies are actually beautiful. There's so many greens and blues in their feathers. Wouldn't mind giving that a go. Yeah, raven, that sounds like a good day, meeting a raven. I'd love to do that. Oh, I keep thinking there's something behind me, but it's my jacket that's sitting on my chair and it's like sort of bunched up, but it looks like someone's just sitting down there like... You lived in Aberdeen for 12 years, so you can't understand dark accent. Uh, accents are funny. Accents are funny. Why is a raven like a writing board? I, I don't know. <laughs> Isn't that from... Um, Hobbit. Or is it Harry Potter? Mm -hmm. um, buy it now for 80 luminance and 150 pablos for £100. Oh my gosh. You should have, you should have, um, you should have gone for that. Should have gone for that. Is that a little tiny bit of green? Um, it's still colour pencil this way. In Canada, it's right. I didn't know that. They spell it the the English way, do they? Or do you? Oh, Alice in Wonderland. I should have known that. I should have known that. Right. Adding in the shadows. <laughs> Having trouble with your tutorial. 
yeah, draw, just draw it and take pictures and sort of write about it as you go. That that would suffice. If you're struggling with, I presume you're filming. If you're struggling with filming, then just take pictures. Ravens are the big version of crow. Yes, yes they are. <laughs> really strong at the end, like, oh, perfectly strong. Canadian choose a British spelling in most things. Didn't know that either. It learns. Every day is a school day. Every day is a school day. Right. Let me move my pencil. I think I'm going to stop there because I feel like that's a good place to stop. I need to do a little bit more work on the wing and like add a little bit more yellow and stuff need like this yellow the greeny yellow I was using but I need to go in and just push a little bit harder burnish it out a little bit that looks a little better it needs a little bit more shading like here A little bit more. I should have. I should have known. I really should have. It is like one of my favourites to read. Right. Hmm. I'm pretty happy with how he's coming along. And then his tail is... Um, Night, Amy. Thanks for stopping by. I'm gonna pop off in a minute as well. Once I've just added a little bit more here and there. Probably just continued for another hour. <laughs> Bye, Lynn. Are you off as well? Thanks for stopping by. It's nice to have you. Right. Yeah, anyway, the tail. It's got some really nice blues and purples and then it goes to like this dark brown and then the tips here is like orangey yellow. So that'll be nice and we can do that and his feet or maybe in the twitch stream with a little bit of branch maybe. Fill in the B, that kind of thing, make a few adjustments here and there. Might try and actually work out how to better autofocus this camera. <laughs> Burnish, that's what we need to um, need to do. That's what we'll be doing. But yeah, that's basically it. Whew, it's a bit warm in here now. There's a few adjustments which I can see, just taking a little step back, sit back. I can totally see where I need to um, make a few adjustments here and there. So yeah, maybe we'll do that in the Twitch stream. Wednesday. Call it a night. Call it a night. <laughs> Thanks, Emma. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Nice to have you. Back to the lift music. It's like the end of the stream chill time. Um, yeah. Thanks, Katie. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, basically, that's it for the drawing and the stream today. A little bit tired. A little bit. Energy is just a little bit, a little bit low uh, today than usual. Um, just purely because I think I, I did a lot yesterday and I've done a lot today. Yes, sign up for Twitch. If um, you want to catch the next live stream, let me just add a link here because I don't have a button yet. Twitch.tv. Oh, I spelt my name completely wrong. There you go. If anybody wants to join Twitch and join the next live stream, it's twitch.tv slash Amy Howard Art and it'll be Wednesday around 8.30. Um, it'll be a little bit more chilled out. 
um, a little bit more casual. Um, yeah. Just a little bit. Like YouTube is like the proper professional. Whereas Twitch is just like, you know, kind of the naughty cousin. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for stopping by today, everyone. It's been fun as always. I can't believe it's been so long. But I will be back next Sunday, same time. I will schedule it in the week sometime. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you've enjoyed the bee eaters. We'll try and get a little bit more done before the Twitch stream and obviously during the Twitch stream as well. Um, Town McDonald's is shut. That's not good. You're not going to get your muffin. You're not going to get that muffin. You should make one. Go and bake one. But yeah. Yes. Wednesday at 8.30. Be there or be not there. <laughs> I'm going to pack up now. Go and um, maybe enrol in some more online tuition classes. <laughs> Good night, lovely people.